Hello and welcome to lecture 4.5 and in this lecture we're going to start creating the walk animation and it's going to be a just like before it's going to be a pretty basic animation just to kind of get get up and running here get get started get uh, get used to the uh, animation workflow here and um, yeah so last time we created the idle animation which looks like this and and now we're going to create the walk animation which is going to be a bit different it's going to be a bit more side to side movement um, yeah so let's go ahead and create a new animation so let's go back to the with the gun selected let's go back to the gun idle pose and let's duplicate this by pressing this key, uh, key here and let's rename this to gun gun walk like that and make sure to save it by pressing this little shield here as always <laughs> uh, right and for the walking I'm thinking it could be around it could be around 24 frames um, in length and we can kind of experiment with that to see what which speed is the best um, but I usually go with around 24 so let's go ahead with that let's set this to 24 so it starts at 1 ends at 24 and let's go to the action editor here and just like we did before with the idle animation let's go ahead and duplicate the X location key so let's make one here at the end and also one in the middle so 12 so 24 is the last one 12 is the center and we also need a Z so let's duplicate the Z and we can leave the rotation for now we, we're going to be needing it later but for now let's just go with the location All right and let's go ahead and select this and expand it over here and let's start by selecting the X and we can see that there's three keyframes placed out they're pretty small uh, I hope you can see them they're pretty small on my screen so I can only imagine they might be even smaller for you um, but yeah they're right here three keyframes and right so we want the gun to move kind of side to side now so sort of like this when you're walking it should go like this and then we also want it to go up and down like this and when we combine those it's going to look something like something like this and then there's going to be some rotation so it's going to be like you know like it's walking and yeah so let's start by going to the first key and we can either manually move the bone here like this or we can set a value um, here we can just modify this I'm gonna go ahead and move the bone itself so in the 3d view here move it slightly to the right oh uh, and let's do that on key zero so let's move it slightly to the right and let's duplicate this and place it at the last one and let's also move it go back to frame 12 and move it slightly to to the left in the camera direction so like this I guess I could do it like this. So in to the left. And let's also go back here and make it loop. Uh, use the cyclic modifier to make it loop nicely. So we can actually select all of the curves here by pressing A and then pressing Shift E and choosing Make Cyclic. And now we get that, uh, that nice loop in here. So if you now try and play it here we can see okay it's it's moving left and right um, it's a bit too much I think so let's go ahead and make it a bit smaller something like this perhaps 
looks pretty good. And let's also make the up and down movement here. So we got the we got the left and right movement here, but I think it's lacking a bit. So we need some up and down motion as well. So it kind of looks like it's actually taking steps and walking. So let's go back to the Z axis and let's focus on that. And we can start by <coughs> by going to frame 12 and moving down the key here. So moving down the gun. And let's play it. And now we can see that it's moving kind of odd. And that's because, well, currently the curves are synced. So they're actually playing at the same time. So that's kind of like we did with the rotation for the idle. We can actually offset the Z. So let's double click on this one and move it slightly on the Z axis. Ah, okay. I know what the problem is. So we actually need to place out keys in between here as well. So let's actually copy, copy the first one and replace this one. And let's place out keys at 6 and 18. And so these are the ones we want to move, move down. So at 6 and 18, we want to move these down. And now if we play it, we get this kind of uh, up and down bounce, which makes a bit more sense. Um, let's actually try moving these up. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that might be a bit better, um, depending on if you want it to kind of bounce down like this, like this, or if you want it to bounce up. Uh, I think, I guess it's just personal preference. I do think it looks a bit better uh, when it bounces up like this. It feels a bit like a walk. And let's go ahead and actually move this whole thing down a bit, kind of like that. And if you want, you can, we can also offset it a bit, so make the the movement a bit more uh, feel a bit more natural. You can kind of move it on the x-axis here, and it just makes it feel a bit softer and not not so stiff and like robotic kind of. All right, I think that looks pretty good, and but it still needs some rotation, so. Just like we did for the idle, we can uh, go ahead and copy the, the X rotation key. So let's place one at the end. And we already had one here at 12, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I placed that. Um, we can actually delete these. So we should only have the X key for now to keep it clean here. So we can just keep the X, clean, uh, X key <laughs> Sorry, here. So we have one at zero and one at 12 and one at 24. So let's go back to the graph and select the X key and focus on it. And just like we did for the idle, we can go to the, the one on frame 12 and move it down like this slightly. We can also select the, the start and end rotation and move them up a bit, like so. You know what, actually, kind of like we did with the Z axis, we should probably make a bit more uh, keys. So let's go back. Let's uh, start over here, go back. And let's place out keys at six and 18. So just like the Z axis, we want it to be kind of on every every six frames we want a key and let's go ahead and select the keys on on six and 18 and move them down slightly and then select the others and move them up a bit and now if we play it we can see that it's like it's like a the bounce makes a bit more sense. It, it kind of reacts to the up and down motion. And it actually looks like it's 
being brought down kind of by the step so being rotated down by the step and let's try and offset this a bit see if it looks better so uh, double click on this on the x graph and let's move it on x so gx and you can just kind of experiment with this and move it uh, on the x-axis here see if it looks looks better over here for example or if it looks better here I do think it looks pretty good here um, Right, so I'm just going to move it slightly on the, like one frame on the x-axis because I, I think it looks pretty good here. And but yeah, you you can just mess around with this and move it uh, on the x-axis, see if it looks better. Uh, yeah, but I think this looks pretty good for the walk. Um, as always, it could always be improved, but this is a good basis for it and. Uh, you can definitely add some more detail to this. Maybe you could um, you can move the fingers, you could move the arms a bit, uh, make it a bit more detailed and uh, more polished. But yeah, this is a good uh, basis for the walk and definitely something we can keep working on and adding more stuff to it. But as a base walk, I think this is uh, perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm gonna call the walking animation done and uh, I will see you in the next lecture where we are going to create the fire animation.